Okay, use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms of 4 plus x to the power of a half. Now, we've got a problem here because the binomial formula up here only tells us what happens if we've got 1 plus x, not if we've got 4 plus x. So we need to pull that 4 outside of that bracket. Now, if we pull that 4 outside, 4 plus x to the power of a half is exactly the same as 4 times 1 plus x over 4 all to the power of a half which is exactly the same as 4 to the half times 1 plus x over 4 to the power of a half as well. So of course 4 to the half is equal to 2 so we now need to go away and work out what 1 plus x over 4 to the power of a half is as we would exactly normally and then multiply all the way through by 2. So if we actually work it all out, if we go away and say what is 1 plus x to the 4 to the half, and we use this exactly as we would normally, we come up with that it's equal to this. Don't forget we need to multiply by 2 as well. Multiply all the way through by 2, and we end up with our final answer here. What is this expansion going to be valid for? Again, it doesn't really matter about the two at the front. It's going, to be, it's going to be valid when this thing here, the modulus of this thing here, is smaller than 1. So when the modulus of x over 4 is smaller than 1, that's exactly the same as saying the modulus of x is smaller than 4, which is exactly the same as saying x is smaller than plus 4 and bigger than minus 4. Now, what about if we had something like this? Find the first four terms of 9 plus x to the minus 1. Again, we can only use this if we've got a 1 down the front here. So, we're going to have to bring that 9 outside of the brackets. So, 9 plus x to the power of minus 1. Exactly the same as 9 times 1 plus x over 9, all to the power of minus 1. Which is exactly the same as 9 to the minus 1 times 1 plus x over 9 to the power of minus 1. Now, something that's very easy to forget here is just to write this as equal to 9. And then you do this exactly as you would normally, using that formula, and then multiply all the way through by 9. That, of course, is not going to be correct. 9 to the minus 1 is, of course, a ninth. So once you've got it in the right formula, so you've got 1 plus something, you then need to work this out exactly as you would normally, and at the end you say, well actually I need to multiply all by 9 as well, multiply through by 9 for everything. What values is this going to be valid for? x over 9, the modulus of x over 9 must be smaller than 1, which is the same as saying the modulus of x must be smaller than 9, which is exactly the same as saying that x is smaller than plus 9, and it's bigger than minus 9. OK, use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms of 1 minus 3x over 1 plus 2x. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this. We're going to have 1 minus 3x multiplied by 1 plus 2x to the power of minus 1. Now the 1 plus 3x is just a 1 minus 3x, it's the normal 1 minus 3x, so I'm looking to do the binomial expansion, we don't have to expand that at all, but we do need to expand the 1 plus 2x to the minus 1, so let's do that now. 1 plus 2x to the power of minus 1, we do exactly the same as normal, we write down the formula, we expand it all, and we end up with, and we only need to use the first few uh, terms, so we're going to have to use up to x cubed, and we end up with the formula of 1 minus 2x, plus 4x squared, take away 8x cubed. And don't forget, they are only the first few terms of that. Uh, we could go on forever if we wanted to. Now, this is all being multiplied by the 1 minus 3x. We're going to rewrite this. We get 1 minus 3x multiplied by 1 minus 2x plus 4x squared, 
minus 8x cubed. So we now need to multiply this all the way out. Okay, so we're going to be doing 1 times 1, 1 times 1, minus 2x plus 4x squared, minus 8x cubed, minus 3x times 1, plus 6x squared, minus 12x cubed, plus 24x to the power of 4. And then, so everything's been multiplied by everything. Now you notice here that we only actually answer the first four terms, so we can forget all about that x to the power of 4. And all we need to do now is add those all together, and we'll end up with the final answer of what that time that was equal to. What is this valid for? It's valid for, well this one's it's valid for anything, you can stick in whatever you want to here. But here, the 2x modulus of it can be smaller than 1, which means that x is going to be smaller than a half modulus, which means that x is smaller than plus a half or bigger than minus a half. So it's got to work for both of them, so that means that that is the formula. Okay, use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms of 4 minus 5x over 1 plus x and 2 minus x. Now the first thing we think when we look at this is it's going to have to be split up using partial, fra using partial fractions. So we're going to solve this using partial fractions in the normal way. And we end up with 4 minus 5x over 1 plus x is equal to 3 over 1 plus x. Take away 2 over 2 minus x, like so. Okay, so now we've got two things, so this is equal to 3 times 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. This is minus 2 lots of 2 minus x to the power of minus 1 as well. We now need to expand both of these, so 1 plus x to the power of minus 1, we will expand it exactly the same as we would normally, uh, it's going to be 1 Take away x plus x squared minus x cubed. And there are the first four terms of it. 2 minus x to the power of minus 1. First of all, we're going to need to take out that 2, so it's going to have to be 2 to the minus 1 times 1 minus x over 2 squared, like so. I'm going to be multiplying all of that out, and we end up with eventually. It's equal to a half plus a quarter x plus one eighth x plus a sixteenth x cubed. And there are the first few bits of it. So we now need to uh, multiply that. So we need to say three lots of that, take away two lots of that. We need to add up all the terms together and work out what we find out. Now, which is this valid for? It needs to be valid for both of them. So, if it's going to have to be valid for both of them, this one eventually turned out to be 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. And this one was minus 2 times a half times 1 minus x over 2 to the power of minus 1. This one here is valid for any x more than 1. So basically, x can be between plus 1 and minus 1 for that one there. This one over here is valid for anything between 2 and minus 2. It's got to be valid for both of them. So the first one The first one's only valid from here to here, the second one's only valid from here to here, but we can only choose the bit for which it's valid for both of them. So we're going to choose this bit here, so it's valid only for the modulus of x less than 1, i.e. when x is smaller than plus 1 and less than minus 1.